Hello, welcome to the video for this listing of a Canon PowerShot G12. So um, I'll go through the accessories so we can clear out a bit of space. There's a box here, which is in pretty good order. Uh, yep, no inner cartons there, just the uh, box with matching serial number to the uh, camera. The uh, charging uh, caddy, original Canon with a UK mains lead of decent length. Uh, all the instruction booklets, all the instruction booklets, CDs and uh, documentation. Uh, two batteries, both original Canons and uh, both the uh, protective tops for the contacts. Uh, the micro mini USB cable, uh, looks like it's still in its bag, original bag, so you can uh, transfer the data from the SD card which incidentally is two gigabytes. It's just a, a standard basic card just to get you going. And the AV cable for the video, uh, a quick release uh, wrist strap, a case which is two pieces, screws into the base, um, is a PowerShot original, um, obviously contained the camera for some time. And uh, that's um, handy to have to protect the camera. A little bag for batteries, get that out of the way. Right, the camera itself. So these are uh, CCD image sensors and they're making quite a good reassur uh, resurgence these days in terms of the fact that they produce really impressive colors. Uh, only 10 megapixels and that's no bad thing really. Uh, who uses, well, you know, if you're gonna be using 36 megapixels for printing, etc., that's a different ball game. But these cameras are good cameras. Uh, it works in good condition uh, there is some rash to the back of the camera. Uh, it really is just the metal, well, it's the paintwork that's uh, just flaked off or worn away. And also on the back of the screen, it's uh, there as well. But the good news is, is the screen is mint. The buttons are all in excellent condition. And the viewfinder's there, the exposure compensation dial is fine. I mean, even the top flash is, is pretty good condition, which normally is the one that gets rubbed away. Uh, we've got the ISO dial and the mode dial all working fine. Menu is not being a touch screen, it's just uh, dialed in via this rotating dial with the north, south, east, west buttons around there. We've got uh, zoom. Uh, obviously zoom on the um, camera itself. I'll just hit the shutter and demonstrate the zoom. Ooh, let's uh, get out of that a second. Try not to be pressing too many buttons. So there's the zoom and the lens extending. The barrel, fairly stiff and rigid. There is a small scratch on the lens here, which is about there. Uh, it's tiny, it's not very big, it, I've used the camera, checked it over, it's not focusing on the scratch, the scratch doesn't seem to give any difference to the image, I don't know if you can just make it out, it might be more visible on the pictures, but you can feel it, it is a scratch, and there are a few minor ingresses in there as well, but you can't help that because the lens sucks and blows as it uh, displaces the air within it. Uh, from the front, it looks really tidy. The grip's good. It's a good weight. Tripod mount, serial number. I think we're made in Japan on here, aren't we? Yeah, made in Japan. Lovely. Uh, the screen tilts round. All works fine. So there's the front. And that enables you to be able to shoot from the hip and shoot up in the air. There we go. We've got uh, magnification on the zoom as well. Let's just uh, demonstrate it working. There's the flash firing, and there's the image that we've got. Oop. I'll do it again. And that's the image. Take lovely pictures. I've been through heaps of cameras, and I can tell you, if you want a really good all-round camera, okay, it lacks in zoom, but you can attach a zoom attachment or a wide-angle attachment to the front. Okay, they are available. I've uh, had a couple of those as well. Um, yeah, door on the side, nice and solid, and there's the Mini B and the HDMI output. This side, nothing, built-in mic. Uh, video, pretty good, but uh, to be fair, you really want this for just a, a really good stills camera uh, for internet use and um, 
just getting those cracking good images. F2.8 on the lens at its widest, five times optical zoom and image stabilized as well. I hope that covers everything regarding this camera. If you've got any questions, give me a call, but bar for the little bit of rash, uh, which is purely cosmetic, minuscule scratch really, nothing much to worry about there. That's a nice camera. Bye-bye.